Hey everybody, it's Electrocutioner. Welcome back to GTA 5. In the last episode, we did a uh, minor turbulence. We finally got to switch to Michael and Trevor again. Uh, we switched to Michael. Um, you know, then we played as Trevor, so yeah, we, we got to switch to them again. Um, and yeah, we chased down... No... We chased down a Merryweather um, cargo ship and uh, or cargo plane, and uh, yeah, uh, we were gonna take the cargo plane to you know to to a buyer to a buyer, and they were gonna buy whatever was in there, but we got shot down by the military. So you know, you know how it is, and we got four wheel filler. Exit the cargo plane in the Mesa, which is the freaking Jeep. So we got that. In this episode, we have to go meet Dave and Steve at the cook site where Trevor cooks uh, meth. It's like Breaking Bad up in here. And, you know, we had to jump out of the freaking cargo plane. And we, you know used a parachute obviously and now when you fly a helicopter or plane a parachute will automatically be equipped when you jump out so yeah very nice so we can jump out of a helicopter or plane which I only usually do with planes because I can lend a helicopter but I can't lend a, a heli but I can't lend a plane so I usually jump out of planes but yeah, when you do a mission, a parachute will automatically be equipped. A parachute will automatically be equipped. And, uh, yeah. And this mission right here, this has, this is, this has, this mission has one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. So let's get into it. Here's that, the cook site here. Polito score oh, set up. Nice place you got here. Oh yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax, I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, I get a point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So... Far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off. Listen. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. I love we this cutscene. We need cut you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. God, I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came in through a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking ain't right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cuts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love
love Michael's rant, man. It's awesome. Oh, I love this. I love that. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Man, I, I love that. Get in the car. I love Michael's rant there. It's awesome. I, I, I love that. I love that cutscene. I love that cutscene just for that part right there. All right, we're driving up to Polito Bay. We're going to set up another heist here. Um, because we need a, a millions of dollars. So, and you get in the car and Trevor runs. Okay, let's go. I'm going to call Lester here in just a second. Let me call Lester. You look amazing. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Okay. Well, let's right, go and let's head there. Meet us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know, maniac, psycho, friend industry leader. Well, in some ways you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there. You know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, D. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> Hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do! Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Recognize- I hope because I'm Remember this area right here, that gas station? Remember that now back there. Away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up. Then the skinny lattes. And then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up. I'm very, very angry, and I want this conversation to stop right <laughs> wow. I love that. Hipster. <laughs> and what you can do if you don't have a weapon equipped, you can actually you can actually uh, flip off Trevor when he's when you say that is like hipster. You can flip him off when you That line's that line's funny without flipping him off, but yeah, you flip him off it just makes it better. <laughs> Excuse me. Hipster. 
Alright, and then he's like, Frick you, frick you! Alright, here we are. What's up here? Alright, how long does it take us to get out of here from LS? Alright, another great cutscene coming up. No, another great cutscene. Come on, man, knock it off. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You alleviate the boredom. That, that one's good, too. All right, here we go. Los Santos Transit. Hey, hey. Hey. Welcome to paradise. Come on, the car's this way. Indeed. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. You know what? I don't want to know what that's supposed to mean. I don't, 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 don't tell me the comments or anything. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm serious. Don't tell me. And we'll go to the front of the bank. Okay. Clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. It should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> All right, we got to drive to the bank here. Now it's time to get serious. We got to focus on the bank. That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. They take us around back. Okay. Drive to the lot next door. And there's an empty lot behind. No one should pay attention to us back there. And right. the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This will do. Okay. Focus on the alarm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw That is out. a dumb idea. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. All right, gotta shoot the alarm here. All right, now we okay. gotta leave. Uh, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right, All right let's go. We gotta drive to the the gas station on the side of the bank. Service and frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Lane County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Molito cars three, six, nine, and one will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Right, I've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. No, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. All right. Got a 67 second response time. There's the cops. Four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops guarding dirty money. Fuck out, man. We can take this. Four of them. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine okay. suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're going to set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not going to outrun a cop. We've got to go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. This is Trevor Cox. All right. Drive as Michael this time, but we'll uh, bonus. You know, we will play as Trevor here as well. You know, later on in the let's play. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fun. This is perfect for this part, but unfortunately, I can't play it. We're gonna get out of here, Trevor Phillips. See ya, Trevor. Into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not, not at, at all. all. So they're going to do car-to-car -car searches and record checks. 
along the highway. So, uh, yeah. Obviously gotta get out of here. Because it said possibly triggered intentionally. So, so yeah, they're gonna do car-to-car -car searches and record checks. Take a so. deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. When Trevor says office, he really means a burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea. I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. The meth lab. Just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole. Where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Remember this area, too. Sure we can't disable the alarm. The alarm is a UXVF 111 classification, minute long relay interval, third party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. You been day trading? No, God no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're going to release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see. But I'm doing it. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank with candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it, or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talk? I Take see. The cops head on messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They are going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Now, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple of ideas. <laughs> All right. All right, so I would love to play Higher Love. That's the music that it normally plays. And maybe next time, I'll, I'll risk... I'll, I'll, maybe I'll risk that next time, but... Yeah. Anyways, now different. You know they talk about the heist and everything when you play as Michael here. Play as Trevor, he doesn't really say anything. Um, so I wanted to, I wanted to play as Michael here for the Let's Play, but you know later we will play as Trevor here. So yeah. But anyway, it's not very eventful for the rest of this, so I'm going to cut and I'll see you guys at least close to the cook site. Alright, see you guys in just a second. Okay guys, we're not too far away from it now. We're almost there. That's good. And we ran him over. That's nice. He says, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. I have been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An island. That's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? 
good. I'm going to stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you got to face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Toledo Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. All right, well... Uh, think about my buddy chef, okay? Consummate professional. Okay, we can do Packy McGreary, but I kind of want to save him for later. We have chef, you know, we got a text from him, and it's like, you know, we can use him as a, a gunman. I, I usually use chef here. If you use Packy McGreary, he'll actually mention, you know, stuff. Anyways, Liberty, uh, Chef it is, I guess. This really the guy you want? Why not? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that, and I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. I mean, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but, you know, me casa, shu casa. I, I'll get a motel. Thanks. Want to the show? Fine, I'll give you a ride. Yeah, freaking thing. Plato score set up. Okay, director mode, high school members, new contact luster. Okay, well, anyway, we're done here. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael, and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. All right, so there's that mission at Trevor's house. The mission is just one after another real fast, dude. Um, so that's the next mission we're doing. Um, Franklin's following the O'Neill brothers. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna pick up Michael and join him. Yeah, that's about it for now, guys. Um, Plato score set up. Win the race back to the meth lab. You know. You can easily win with Trevor. It's just, yeah. Now, if you win as Michael is like, uh, uh, we won't hear this dialogue, so I'll just tell you. He's like, oh, we beat Trevor here. And, and, uh, Michael says, the guy holds me back. Always has. Uh, drive to the bank within 3 minutes 30 seconds. It did 4 minutes 21 seconds. Okay. Well, well, that's about it. Um, got this motorcycle we can save, I guess. Nice basketball helmet. Well, I guess I'm gonna head back to Trevor's house. And, uh... Unless that, like, special... Unless that random event shows up right here... It probably will. There's Lester right there. Um, military convoys are traveling to the base every few hours. Intercept and steal the military equipment at H. Okay. So we have the the heist military equipment heading to Fort Sankudu. Um, 
And uh, I made most of the arrangements for the Polito score. All we need is the military hardware, so move on the convoy when you can. Alright, so I guess we'll do that um, in addition to the next episode. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Um, next time on GTA 5, we'll be picking up Michael and going to take care of the rest of the O'Neill brothers. See you guys then.